nothing much to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake Behold, my trucker station came to an end But behold, a new savior stepped right in Thank God for the satellite and radio For good trucking music, there's a place to go Bill Mack and Cindy and Dave Nemo Thank God for... Well, good morning, good morning, guys Well, look at that it looks like it has finally just about stopped raining yeah we are just fixing to get out of here uh, this truck is getting out of here nice tanker and it is at uh, 3 43 in the morning right now yep but you know what it's going home so i'm getting up early and i'm getting out of here yeah so let's get out of here and let's have ourselves a fantastic day. So let's come along and ride with us. And let's see what we will come up with today. It could be very interesting today. So stick around. Good morning it is. I know I'm saying good morning again. But we've been on the road for a while already. And just hit the Minneapolis rush hour traffic it looks like. We only got about 7 more miles to go to get to uh, 494 but just looks like heavy rush hour going into Minneapolis right now so oh well nothing in my control so we just have to take it the way it comes right we'll get there eventually We'll get to our exit eventually and then the uh, traffic should be a little bit better. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, everybody is playing on their cell phones today again. I mean, every other car I see up here is just playing on their cell phones, you know. Oh, well, see that one again. It's playing on their cell phones. <laughs> no wonder accidents happen. You just want to both hands on the, you know, on the cell phone they're playing around. But oh well. Anyways, we're going to try and get through this rush hour traffic here, and then see what happens, right? Well, look at this, guys. This four-wheeler was taking the shoulder up here and trying to squeeze her into uh, to the lane up here and the Smokey Bear cut him. Good job there, Mr. Smokey Bear. Yee-haw! I got a good kick out of this one. These four-wheelers always trying to just speed up here and then cut right into lanes, you know? And that uh, Smokey Bear cut him. Yeah, it's good. You know, you do it in a good way, merge into a lane. Don't just try and, what that four-wheeler was doing, he was passing another four-wheeler on the shoulder and flew down on the uh, shoulder there and then was trying to get away up ahead of the traffic up there and the cop spotted him and he turned his lights on and got him. There you go, good job there, Mr. Police Officer. Yeah, that's what we like. Get control out of this rush hour traffic here, you know. Don't think you can just come up here and just squeeze by everybody and then uh, try and cut in the front of the lane there somewhere, you know. You gotta do it the proper way, you know. Anyways, that's my rat for today. Alrighty guys, we are pulling into Rogers, Minnesota. Yeah. We are going to go to the truck stop up here and uh, we're going to go see if we can uh, park here somewhere and uh, hopefully we can. It's just still raining a little bit and uh, I was talking to one of my subscribers there earlier and he wants to meet me up here so we're gonna see if he made it up here or not. I hope they did. So if they made it up here then we will be meeting up with them here. Now, no matter what I'm taking my half an hour break up here and go in.
down and have me a breakfast. Give me a bite to eat. Just really hoping that I can somehow get in here. No, this is not it. I gotta go further. Yeah, I gotta go further. Oh, it looks like there's a few spots open over there, so I should be able to uh, get a parking spot in there. I haven't been in this truck stop, this truck stop in ages because it's hard to find parking in here, you know? So I usually don't even try to go in here anymore. I just... And they redid this whole... Uh, ramp up here to get into here and uh, so I uh, wasn't quite sure on whereabouts which uh, ramp I was supposed to take and I accidentally took the wrong exit and I had to go down and make a u-turn to come back but yeah well that's yeah, okay we turned around and got back here so anyways I'll go park somewhere and I'll see if I can uh, We can meet up with this guy. Hopefully he will show up here somewhere. So we'll see you guys in a bit. Well guys, we are here in Rogers now, Minnesota, and Steve has showed up, eh? Hey, how you doing? Hey. <laughs> well, finally, nice to nice meet to you. Nice to meet you too. Yes, yes. He doesn't have a whole lot of time, so we can't go in and have breakfast, but I'm still gonna go in and have breakfast, but uh, Steve, uh, he says he watches my video every day now, eh? Every single day. That's awesome. He said he found us through uh, Trucker Josh when we was up there in uh, Vlogger Fair, so that's nice. So what oh, yeah. kind of what kind of work do you do up here? Uh, heating and air conditioning and appliance work. Nice. Um, yep. Nice. Right. I just had my uh, uh, hot water tank replaced here this last summer, so I right. know <laughs> my cousin does that kind of work, you know? Yeah. But that's nice. So. Yeah. It's a good job. Yeah. Pays the bills, takes care of the kids. That's good. <laughs> How many kids you got? I got four. Four? Yep. Nice. I'm married uh, 12 years. Oh, okay. Yeah, so. Wow. I've just been married just a little bit longer than you. I've been married since 2001, so oh, okay. 14 well, years now. Yeah. yeah, we got married in 2002. Oh, okay. So, yeah, about 12, 13, 13 years. Yeah. 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 Like that. Wow. That's almost I, the same. I'm a, I'm a guy. I'm a guy. I don't yeah. Yeah. That kind of stuff. Well, the re <laughs> only reason why I remember is I married on my birthday. You know. Oh well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it makes it kind of easier to remember then. You yeah. Know? yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So you live up here in this area? I live actually north of Rogers, about uh, I would say about 20 miles or so north of Rogers. Oh, that's not so, bad. That's yeah. not bad. I'm. Uh, not familiar with this area anymore too much since they rebuilt this whole highway up here and yeah, all that. I actually took the wrong wrong I, ramp there, so I had to go down, make a U-turn, and come back. <laughs> I saw you go by. And yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah, that's gotta be Rudy. So. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely me. But anyway, so he doesn't have a whole lot of time, but we appreciate you meeting up hey, with us. Uh, very nice meeting you. Yeah, about time. <laughs> yeah, that's about time. Yeah. So we'll uh, cut the camera and uh, we'll chat with him a little bit more. And then uh, anything you would like to say to our viewers? Mm. Hi. <laughs> that's about it. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, we'll be back later then. Well, that's it, guys. We had ourselves a little bit of a meeting with our uh, subscriber or ours, Steve. Yeah, that was a nice little uh, meeting we had there. Now we got to give her. Go home. That's right. That darn light up there. To get back onto this highway there was red for like almost 10 minutes. That was crazy. You know? Well, you're not supposed to go over red, so nobody did, but that was just ridiculous, you know? Like for almost 10 minutes that darn light was red. I couldn't believe it, you know? But now the wind has picked up dramatically. It is pretty darn windy right now. Oh, we gotta turn. I don't want to exit. That's right. And when I was uh, stopping there, it looked almost like it was ice rain. Like it was just on the edge of ice rain and regular rain, you know? But, uh, oh well. Now we're. Uh, we're gonna put the hammer down towards the border. We got a total of 430 miles to go yet till we get home. So we're gonna give her. 
Anyways, let's uh, have ourselves a fantastic day and uh, see if we see any snow yet today. Alrighty guys, we are back in Canada. Yeah, we are. We have had a very interesting day today. It's been crazy windy today, for the most part anyways. Yeah, I know I've been kind of slacking off today with the videoing part, but uh, here we are again, trying to make another clip for you. And as you can see, it's still raining. I've had all week rain since uh, Sunday night it's been raining and it's Wednesday night already or just about. I've had rain every single day of this week and non-stop pretty much. It stopped like maybe for an hour and that's it. But that's all right. We made it home. Maybe next week will be different. And when I left Rogers, Minnesota, I even had a little bit of a mixture of uh, snow showers, snow and rain showers, you know. So that was quite interesting. Luckily it was not cold enough to where it would actually freeze, you know, like on the ground and stuff. So everything was good. Yep, but here we are. Definitely back in Canada. We are on Highway 23. We have 49 kilometers to go and we'll be home. That's pretty much 30 miles or 29.5. Yeah. Then we'll be home sweet home. We'll be dropping this trailer and pick, drop the paperwork off and I'll be going home. It'll be a long day for me. As all of you know, I started really early in this morning. So we have had ourselves a long day. And that's all right. Tomorrow we'll take a reset. And then we'll try and get out on Friday again. Trying to make some miles today or you know, this month. Before it's over, I want to get some good miles in. Yep, that's it. Anyways, let's continue on going home. Now we'll see what we'll be able to show you at home today. Well guys, it's the next morning already when I finish off my video, but I wanted to put a closure into it anyways. And uh, anyways, I got home yesterday before dispatch went home. And some other drivers was telling me that uh, apparently we can get some free coffee mugs. So uh, guess what? I got me one too. Have a look at that. Now that's a very, very nice coffee mug. It's got an auto seal on it. If you don't press this button right here, no coffee will come out. It's got a lock button out there too, so you can hit that lock button. And uh, it will never spill even if it falls and it hits this button. It's a very, very nice coffee mod. Now it's got the Penner logo on it. And I already got some comments yesterday on Facebook. I put the picture on Facebook. And people were saying, yeah, this is a really, really nice coffee mug. So. Thank you, Penners, for giving us a nice coffee mug. They also give us a pen in there. No, that looks like just a cheap ass pen, but whatever. <clears throat> and we got a little bit of a notepad here, or whatever you want to call it. We'll write a little notes or whatever, you know. But, anyways, we are done. So, thank you guys for watching. And be sure to stick around for tomorrow because you never know what could happen. <laughs>